Welcome back. Today we'll be tackling the side battle of Brock Road. Last time we finished the grand battle of Chickamauga. Um, you can see that we inflicted 50,000 casualties, Confederates, where we deliberately extended that battle. And <clears throat> they only recovered 23,500 men. So we are making a big dent in their army size. 50,000 is basically nothing for this late in the campaign. Uh, put, put the point in training, um, and actually we have a bit to talk about of this, this army. Uh, this is now in the Cold Harbor campaign, this is the second to last one, and then there's Richmond after this to close out the campaign. Um, we're finally late enough, and I feel uh, confident enough about the strength of and the depth of our army, and I have opened the proverbial storage locker. All of the um, three-star maxed stat veteran brigade, um, elite brigades have been finally distributed to all of our divisions, um, where they're going to be paired with um, these 2,000 men rookie brigades, although they'll soon start gaining experience. Um, we'll get these guys trained up through here, and then I'll start swapping them back and forth so that everybody starts getting some experience. You can see that... Um, three stars all the way up through just the beginning of the first core where we have only these guys who are two star as the uh, elites but they'll, they'll soon hit three star um, and these are still good units uh, we took out of the rep shop 1863's um, and we've started uh, giving them out um, but we haven't um, yet set by uh, them out of the shop, <coughs> even though that they are finally available. Just because it is a fairly large price hike for what is only um, seven actors. Not quite worth it for if we bought all of them out and started giving them out, um, that would be you know a third uh, of our remaining war chest. Not sure that's quite worth it. But See, they were still buying at least the sniper rifles for our skirmishers. Um, cavalry, we've got pretty well stocked. Been slowly picking up uh, the Remingtons. And artillery, again, standard, just buy everything at the top end. You can also see that we have two star brigade, uh, two star generals in charge of all these really large brigades, aside from guys who just barely need to make experience. Um, and in this case, there's a bit of a hole here just because of the deployment limitations, but this division actually goes over here. We um, just need to keep a little bit of flexibility um, just because of some of these limited deployments. But you can see here that um, <clears throat> once this hole gets filled in, in the, la in the very um, closing stages of the campaign, we'll be basically about 100,000 strong, which is, which is usually my target just the way that I have um, the, these armies constructed. So let's get into it. Our army is participating in the major offensive in the area known as the Wilderness. Elements of our army are seeking to engage with Lee's isolated force of AP Hills Corps at the intersection of Orange Plank Road and Brock Road. You can spare one and a half core for the assault, and it is expected that you will outnumber your enemy. Move your troops carefully through the forest and dislodge AP Hill from his position. Um, Orange Plank Road should sound familiar. We have certainly fought <clears throat> in this area quite some time. Previous grand battle had the Orange Plank VP here and the other VP over here, and there have been some side battles where uh, I'm pretty sure you need to attack um, into a VP that's like right here where you can come around and swing in from the side. Um, <clears throat> so this is this is some terrain that they've got, certainly gotten some use out of. We read this terrain, we want to attack either from either of these flanks. We don't really want to go straight through the center. There might be a little bit of an opportunity here, but probably want to avoid that. Um, and this is their angle of reinforcement, so we'll want to watch out for that. We still, we do outnumber them by quite a, a lot. So just be cautious and we should be able to grind this out. General seems to outnumber the rebels and their brigades are scattered in the woods trying to exploit the good cover behind Brock Road. March down Orange Plank Road and attack the rebels. 
Okay. Um, our reinforcements are going to come through here. So we probably want to leave them an opp opportunity to at least do something. So I think because of this forest blocking and there's this road access, it's better if we attack initially to this side and push up through their lines this way and then any room so we can send some reinforcements over here to help um, close this area off okay so where is that is fourth division first division go Fourth division. It's going to take me a little bit to do these deployments. I apologize for that. Just get this guy out of the way for now. And then second division over here. Fourth division. And just get this guy out of the way as well. And third division. This is third division, and this is fourth. So we will just swing in, hit these trees right here, just straight across. Um, actually, I'm going to set my parrots up over in these woods. They should get a lot of a lot of opportunity to just bombard the entire time. Um, I'll send one of the howitzers over with them as well. Snipers should move all the way around, same with the cavalry. So just swing all the way around to the side. Okay, these brigades back up on that flank. And let's see, where are my, okay. So these guys want to try to avoid taking too much direct fire with them. Be him there, over there. Okay. Parrots over here. Howitzer there. One of the parrots over here, just, uh, just in case. Uh, put the artillery, put the ammo over there. Whereas the general's over here. Okay, so we're going to send um, four brigades north to just to hold this line. No, two brigades. I don't need everybody here. Two brigades should be enough. I want flexibility on this side. Take that back. These guys are, will swing down actually more. Okay, that should be good. Combine, 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 combine. Yep, the skirmisher is moving. Brigades moving, and then send these skirmishers out ahead. These troops, something like this, and then. like that. Okay, that should be good.
go ahead and fast forward just because these guys are just. Forgot to give a mood or move order. It's unfortunate. Seems like they've got some artillery hanging on that side. So they can't get a couple snipe shots or something on them.
inexplicably they just have one of their Alright, so we're going to do something a little cheeky. We're actually going to push uh, hard down here. change of plans. This is sort of what we were expecting based on the numbers that were involved. So we'll go ahead and call it there. It's the first time we're going to cut a um, side battle short, but this is already starting to run pretty long. So thanks for watching.